I'm in a place I wanna be I'm fighting things no one can see Why are they still here? All of these voices in my head They're saying all the things I dread And it should be so clear It was massive explosion. I even had a great sound effect. <laughs> was that a great? Was that what you're calling that? Great sound effect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I should Fantastic. maybe get into that professionally. Uh, no, I would say not. Hey everybody, welcome to the Fit Show this week. Hey, Java, Java's here in the kitchen today. He's stopping by. We're gonna give him some wine. He will enjoy the daylights out of it. So my name is John Tagliari. I'm Jeff Rosen. Welcome back to another week of The Fit Show. We hope you guys have had a fantastic week. We have to start our show like we do every week. Those of you who watch us know we do two things at the very beginning. Two, two, one, two, two, two. One, two, but that's not the two. This is the one. We have to say thank you to Nantucket Vineyards. <laughs> no, throw too many numbers at you. Uh, we want to say thank you to Nantucket Vineyards, who is our sponsor for wine, who take incredibly good care of us. What are you doing there? Just like, I don't know. I can't pour into that. Now you're being a silly boy. Now you get this. And Jeff, what's our number two thing we do? Number two. Is your wine for the day. <laughs> is remember to always consult a health professional, your doctor, before uh, starting any type of nutritional changes, any type of workout plan. Um, we're here, we're learning, um, but you know, we want to make sure that everybody's staying safe, not hurting themselves. Um, so make sure, whatever we, we say, take it with a grain of salt. Check in with your health professional. Yes, always go see a doctor prior to starting your workouts. Um, make sure that you are healthy enough to work out. Look at this, we're gonna have a nice. Wow. And then we're pouring that third one for our guest today. I know that she's gonna enjoy this. Uh, make sure you see cup. a doctor. That's the lonely one that just sits up there and says fit show. <laughs> Flip that over too. Uh, make sure you see a doctor because we don't want anybody doing anything unhealthy. We want you guys, the whole point of the show, we say it every week, is to get you in shape, is to get you on a better diet plan, is to get you healthy, and we want you to stay safe while you do it. So make sure you consult a physician. We are not professional, well, kind of, sort of, but we are I'm not. not, not, yeah, not no, no, and I'm a personal trainer, but that does not make me a, uh, a, an expert by any means in anything. Um, how was your week? It was great. First off, welcome movie. back. Cheers. Cheers. We start. Cheers That's number guys. three Thank thing you. we do every week. Um, oh, that's good. So, um, yeah, my week my week was good. Um, a little bit crazy with all the, the cold right weather back. that we've been having. Um, we um, so all of my girls have been home all week for the second week in a row. That so had to be been, fun. It's been how a has that been, crazy. Dad? But uh, but we're going away for a couple of days, a little uh, two day getaway for uh, tomorrow. So that should be fun. They can get out of the house. Um, but so it's been a crazy week, but it's been a good week because last week I talked a little bit about how after the holidays uh, and being kind of, you know, going to all these parties and stuff, I had put some weight back on and I was angry at the scale. Um, were you angry at the scale or were you angry at yourself? I was angry at the scale. 
it was definitely the scale's fault. Okay. That's good. <laughs> but um, so I had, and you know, weight can fluctuate hour to hour, day to day, but at the particular moment that I got on the scale, I had gotten all the way back up to 279, and, okay. which is, you know, not where I wanted to be, and that's why I was mad at the scale. Not my fault. I can do it. No. <laughs> Don't think like that. <laughs> but uh, I did my weigh in today, and I'm back down to 269. Good. So, um, you know, getting that, you know, 10 pounds is a big swing, but felt good, whereas before the holidays, I was at 267, so I'm kind of like back to where I was, and good. Good. I'm hoping to, uh, again, keep moving forward. A couple, a couple so no ground lost, which is good. Right. Um, how's the diet been? Have you been eating better since we got away from the holidays? Because we all ate badly at the holidays. I mean, right. I think that's kind of a given. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, definitely been making better choices again, you know, and um, and really been focusing also on portion control this Big past thing. couple of weeks. Yep. Because, again, with the weather being stuck in, not every single meal has been perfect, you know. Um, and so just really focusing on not, if I have to eat something that's maybe not perfect, just not eating a ton of it. You know, yeah, portion uh, control. Yeah. Sorry. Your hand. Use your hand, people. Uh, I'll put when up you a graphic. Eat, use your hands like. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm gonna put a graphic up on the Fit Show page of the best way to use your hand to judge your portions, because you can use each different piece of your hand to judge what your protein should be, what your carbohydrate should be, uh, what your fat should be. So I'm gonna put a graphic up on the Fit Show page after the show that will show you the proper way to use your hand as a guide if you don't have a, a, a scale or any other way to measure. Um, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Good for you. I'm glad yeah. you're back down, back on the right path. And, Me too. And we're going to start working hard. I know next week when you get back, we, we're going to start kicking hard for you. So. Yeah. Um, Push it. My week was good. Uh, my weight's steady. I'm 140 today. Yeah. You know, right where I always should be. Uh, I got punched in the face last week. It was awesome. Uh, I went for a different kind of workout, which went in MMA gym. A punch and, uh, in the face workout? And, uh, <laughs> and I got in the ring. I got into the octagon, which, which I have uh, never done before. And... Uh, uh, you know, I wrestled in high school, and I was I boxed, and I had taekwondo and all that stuff. But I, I'd never gotten into an MMA ring, and uh, so thankfully we wore headgear. Whole different world, yeah. We wore headgear, and and uh, and uh, that first punch woke me up. You know, it was that first wow. They actually do hit hard in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he hit me square in the face, which was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, my wrestling skills jumped back in, and I actually made a fairly good showing for myself. He was 25 years younger than me. Yeah. And. Uh, and I, and I held my own. I had him on his back for most of the... But I'll tell you what, uh, it reminded me very quickly of as good as my cardio is, as good as I think the shape I'm in. He was about 160 pounds, and me controlling a 160-pound person for four minutes, I was exhausted. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I've got good cardio because I can run forever and I can swim forever. And I was sucking wind at the end of that four minutes like I yeah. haven't sucked wind in years. Yeah. So I found out that... I'm going to have to start mixing some new things. Maybe not getting punched in the face every week. All right. But <laughs> mixing some new things into my workout. Maybe just go do some grappling. You should just do a workout where they just go, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that's not really going to work the cardio. It's going to make me cry a lot. It's not really make the cardio. All right, we want to bring our guest in this week. we got a lot to do. We've got an amazing story to bring you. Um, uh, all of those, who, you guys know that we say every week on here, you can make excuses or you can make changes. Uh, the person we're about to bring in is the epitome of most people make excuses. Because she decided not to and made a lot of changes. Uh, the story is amazing. We've got a lot of good food to cook today. It's going to take us a little bit of time. Do you want to get right to it? Ariel Ruggiero, come on in. Do I get to do like the like... You can do, do whatever you want. actually jump in? What, wow. Where am I wow. looking? Here? Yes, yeah. right there. Oh, all right. Say hi, I, everybody. Hi. I've got, I've got too? us live, too. Oh, perfect. We're live on her page right now. Right. This, is, this is live on our page. Oh, my God. Amazing. So, so just tell me where to look. Otherwise, I'm kind of like a squirrel, so I might be yeah. like all over the place. Yes. Well, so, I have the same problem. All right. Oh, so there I am. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to put you right between us. You get to right. the corner of the counter. I don't know how I'm going to keep my phone. I think I'm going to we'll be... We'll just sort of put it over here next to mine. I yeah, think well, people are going to be looking sideways. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So, so I apologize, guys. No, that's okay. Here's what but we'll it's do. okay if you can't. We can finish mine. It's, it's all no, good. No, no, no. We, we, we can make it work. We okay. can make this work we somehow. Can do it on the fly. Somehow. Well, somehow. We I can haven't make been this live work. lately, so it's nice to go live. I used to do this a lot, but yeah. really? Yeah, you guys ask how I do it all, and sometimes you just can't do it yeah, all, and it gets it gets overwhelming. It gets absolutely. It can be over, yeah. Life can be overwhelming. Life can be so. overwhelming. Well, before we dive into that, yeah, let's tell everybody who you are. All right, I'm looking here, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, so I am Ariel Ruggiero. I am originally from Brockton, and I now reside in Bridgewater. I am married to Michael. Uh, we have three awesome, crazy, rambunctious, 
boys that we gave the moniker of the Bash Bros. So for those of those, <laughs> those of you who follow me, Bros. you know who they are. I, it's I have Luca. seen her try to work out on video from home to go live and be like, I'm going to show you. And they're like, Mom! Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is, that's been going on for a while. But So Luca is five. He will be six next month. And then Christian and Kaysen are four, um, and they are identical twins. Wow. So I had three so boys many. in 16 months. That's so many boys. I think I was trying to so set a record. Time. That's boys, yeah. That's a lot of boys. That's a lot of boys. A lot of boys. Well, here's to you so, having boys. So, yeah, after boys. saying that, here's to getting it all done. Oh, I didn't want to break it. Ooh. All right. That's, that's nice. So, what are we drinking? A little Pinot? Yes, yeah. this is a Pinot Grease. All right. Uh, we figured it went well with the Mama meal likes. <laughs> <laughs> Mama likes. Uh, so tell everybody about mm. some of your changes that you made. Okay, so um, you guys might have to stop me because I'll talk a lot. I'm very no, that's, that's animated great. as I'm well with my hands, yeah. so if I punch you in the face, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> the accent is strong, too. I like to, like, pull on yeah, people yeah. about that. So anyways, um, so my husband and I, um, we opened a studio up in West Bridgewater right on 106. It's called Studio One. It's a nice personal training slash group class training um, studio. So it's not like a scan your card and type of go type of you know go thing. So right, right. the classes are amazing. We have a flex line system, which I can't wait to get you guys in on. Yeah. Uh, kick your butt a little bit. Yeah. I will be teaching that yes, class for you guys. Yes, I am to work with it. Uh, uh, yeah. The flex line system, for those who don't know, it's a it's a complete time under tension system. It's an air compression it's an system. Air compression so system. you have so, like yeah. handles that just go up and down. So there's no need to re rack, de rack. Like you know, you're in the middle of a set, and maybe you realize like you need to go higher or lower in the weights. All you have to do is hit a button. And the great thing is, too, it's like a nice, small, intimate setting. So, like, we, it's, it's great for people like us that are in it. It's great for people that are just getting into it because you're also doing it under time. So it doesn't matter. You're not like you have to do 15 reps. It's whatever you can do, whatever right. you can do, right. and whatever I can do. So you can set the tone. You can set the challenge. If you really want to get a good workout, I mean, I will push and motivate you to you know, the cows come that. home, but at the yep. end of the day, it's up to you. Right. And, you know, I think we were talking a little bit, too, you know, like, I can't make people want what I want, but I can just right. be an example. Right. Right. So right. I think that's, you know, the big part. And for me, um, I found myself, you know, this with the three kids. Um, I'm a visiting nurse, so I wasn't really getting out much. I'd get out and go to work, and I joke about things, but <laughs> I'd get out and see patients and, We'd either talk about pain or lack of bowel movement. I'm going to start right. setting up what we got to do. <laughs> As we talk about that, we're quite that hitting up food. That's, that's but my, fun. my fellow nurses understand. Yeah. So I think I was lacking um, the social getting out of the house. I mean, I was scared to get out of the house with the three kids, especially when they were that little, because, you know, parking lots were so daunting to me. You know, I'm trying to think how I'm going to carry two car seats and have a toddler and not run into a parking lot. Right. So needless right. to say, I didn't get out much. Um, my loving husband said the words that I never wanted to hear, but I'm so thankful that he did. What were those words? Well, it was, you're, we're never going to get any less busy. You need to do this now. Because right. I was waiting yeah, for right. the perfect time. I was waiting for my life to somewhat... And that's not going to happen. <laughs> ...slow down, and it didn't. So that got me off the couch. I started a program. I did an at-home program. I became a, a beach body coach. That's kind of what set this whole thing into motion for me. I finished a program, and I just... It just lit a fire in me, something that I never intended on happening. I never right. intended to take it as far as I did. Um, from that, it led to competitions. Mm -hmm. um, I earned my pro card as a professional competitor at the age of 35 whoop, whoop, with wow. three kids. Yeah, good for you. That uh, thank awesome. Thank you. That's so awesome. um, I did that in April. And then uh, when we went out to Summit for the annual conference that Beachbody puts together, it was my third show. And I won that one this year. So, so 2017 wow. so Beach goals, Body Classic Champion. It felt really good. I think the best part was is that I saw a lot of girls that I had, um, you know, motivated to do the competition with me. That was the biggest thing because I honestly went into it this third year and said, I'm just going to have fun. Right. I'm just going right. to have fun with it. Whatever happens, happens. And I think that made the world of a difference because right. I went up, I had fun, and I knew. And there was girls that I'd been competing with for the past three years, and they just looked at me and said, this is your year. Go do yeah. it for me. And right. I was like, I'm going to do that. That's nice. awesome. That's so it was awesome. great. And then the studio opened, and, yeah, you know, between yeah. moving and opening the studio, I'd love to say everything is like, you know, but it's still crazy. It, it's always crazy. Still yeah, have absolutely. your moments. Three kids, you right. get it. Oh, some yeah. days it's like, I got this. Yeah. And some, some days, days it's so like, much. give me the wine. Where's the bottle? I need this. Yeah. I need the glass of wine. I need the wine. I have a feeling this is going to go away quickly today. <laughs> With me, it may. I don't know. This is a big glass, though. <laughs> no, it's not. 
Yeah. So talk about inspiring. I mean, just just think about what we just said. I mean, full time nursing, three kids in a very short amount of time, three mm. young kids, mm. and you still were able to do all that, accomplish that. That's uh, that's amazing. I think it, you know, it was it was hard. I'm not gonna lie and say it wasn't hard. It's still hard. Like today, I didn't get my work out in. Yesterday, I didn't because of work. Um, finding the time, it's not gonna yep. happen. <laughs> all right, we're all looking for that extra time, right? right? Am I right? Like, yeah, there's yeah. never enough time in the day. You have to make it. Mm -hmm. You have to make the time. You have to show up for yourself. Yes. Yes. I think I got addicted to that. I think I got, okay, this is my time. This is me time. Yeah. This is mama time. I'm not saying I still don't go home and I'm not mama bear, like, right. screaming her head yeah. off some days. <laughs> but I can only imagine what it would right. be like if I didn't have do release. something for right. me. Have, have release, the absolutely. release. Well, so. I want to talk quickly about it. Here's what we're yeah. making today. I don't know if we, can get, uh, if we have the overhead camera we can get on here. Um, what we're making today, because I was thinking about the busy lifestyle that, that Ariel has, and what can you make quickly that you can kind of dish out to a bunch of kids. So today we're going to make mini muffin turkey meatloaf. So it's basically is turkey that, Is that what we gave it? That's meatloaf. the name? That's the official name? That's the official name. That's the official name. <laughs> okay. It's turkey mini meatloaf, loaf, but you make it in muffin, muffin pans. <laughs> you, you put like a wrap of top, bacon in and you fill it with the turkey meatloaf and you bake it. And then you basically can dole them out, and it's a very simple, easy, quick, Mom, I'm hungry. Eat that. Oh, that was like today. <laughs> I, I'd like a snack. You've so had what 17. you see here is, is what we're going to be cooking today. We've got turkey. We've got some eggs. We've got onion. We've got peppers. We're going to dice. We've, we're going with green beans, carrots on the side. Um, it's going to be an awesome meal. So, so wait, uh, what is this? This is ground turkey? That is ground turkey. I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> My, my peeps know me in the ground turkey. Uh -oh, you go you in, got a little battery. Oh, my, it's because Apple, I'm not going to get into that. But uh -oh, with yeah, with yeah, their new uh -oh. upgrades. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. You know okay. what? We have. It. But we kind of wipe out Market Basket of ground turkey. So. Okay, oh. Free oh. See, we full we, service here at the show. Prepared. I wish people could. This is like. <laughs> I mean, I go live and people watch me go live in like my kitchen and the kids right. are. Sh this is nothing like right. my. This is nothing. This is. <laughs> We got, yeah, the, the full feel, production value yeah, going on. Yeah, right, I'm right. loving it. <laughs> it's so they had to figure out is your charger is where it's You know, it's we, sitting. we needed all the lights because it's really hard to make John look good. Is yeah, the thing, I can This know, is so true. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need a lot of lights to I was to worried cover. like the black circles on the mask would be bad. That's why I had the glasses on, but I think the no. lighting would have helped yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's it. I'm all for that. Um, <laughs> well, I think next to us... I'm You're doing look okay. Good anyway, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing my my competition bikini, but I guess you know it's. All yeah, right. We were one, we were curious about that. Yeah. I was gonna wear my competition bikini. I, I thought you, you guys didn't get the memo. Oh, no, yeah. No, oh. I was gonna wear mine, but but I'm glad I didn't because yeah. I, you know, it would have been awkward. Especially after the holidays, I, have a, I don't a think. A Borat man thong that I usually <laughs> use for competitions. Oh, yeah, it it looks that. amazing. I'm I have to be sure. honest with you. But you need like a little tan, you know, after the holidays. Cheat over a little. You're, you're a little I don't fight. Time. Not a lot. Oh, Sometimes. You See, you're, you're good now. There we are. Um, <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. All right, put me to work. What are we put doing? Put you to work. Uh, Jeff, what can I do? Oh, I'm going to hand you that knife. Oh, wow. You, sir, are going to cut those yeah, peppers Yeah, I'm like, up. I don't know Jeff all that well yet. I'm next to him with a big knife. <laughs> uh, we'll become fast friends. Oh, cool. right. I can already tell. Why are you with an onion? Can you give me the onion? <laughs> Woo! Woo! We gotta dice the onion. So I'm gonna actually introduce you. Here's garbage can full of stuff. No. I'm gonna introduce you to one of my favorite toys. And we Everybody all, knows I love when I pull this out. And the nurse in me is John gonna say we toys. all washed our hands, right? Before yes, we, we get in here. Of course. Right, of course. I am about to pull this out. The fit show chopper. <laughs> what the is slap that? chop. It's a fit show slap chop. So that's for the onion? Yes, we're gonna. So you want me to do the onion? Yes. Alright, I'll do the onion. Um, you know what you can do? What I'll pull this over here and I'll start the onion. Two eggs yep. into, into that. Yep. And then some breadcrumbs into that. And just that. mash it all up. And start to mash it up. Now, all of what Jeff and I are doing is going in there as well. Okay. It's going to be one nice... I saw something the other day about di different ways to cook eggs. And if you get an, um, the shell, you're supposed to scoop it out with... I just learned that. that? And I All was right, like, good. It's really mom. cool, guys. So if you get like, yeah, right? Right. You eggshell, if you crack it and it gets in whatever you're making, just take the actual eggshell itself and scoop it out. I mean, I've tried it with a spoon. It doesn't work. A spoon or, or a knife. outside everything, and you're sitting there and you're fighting with So that's with what you're supposed it. to do. I just throw them in the garbage. So I couldn't believe how easy that was, and I was like, why? We must have watched, I don't know, just a copy of that. The whole <laughs> thing of, um, you want well, to Well, no, start, start a little bit. Start with about half. 
and then start to mix it and see what the consistency is once the eggs are in there and All right. see if we need more than half. Um, I want to so compliment, right? compliment you. I want to compliment you because I like that you're, first off, that you're diving right in. It's a wonderful diving thing. Diving in. Not um, sure. No. Uh, <laughs> one of the things I want to compliment you on is, so do you remember how we met? I'm sure it was like a sweaty mess running around at you the gym. You were. You absolutely were. Um, With my head so cut off. Everybody yeah. knows that, that and, and everybody knows that I make fun of people who slack at the gym. The girls on the stair machine with their arms it's on the not bar the stair lock, machine. silly. It's the it's the abductor and the adductor machine, the leg machine. Well, ladies, you, don't sit there and do two hundred of those. Get <laughs> up, <laughs> do your rep and get up. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> but uh, people in the gym who work their butts off, I notice because they stand out from the crowd. And if you're ever in the same room as this person when she's working out, you have a choice: leave or step your game up. Because you're either going to look bad or you get a step your game up and hang. And I, I walked up to her when they said, look, I see you here every day, and I want to say thank you, because every day I see you, it makes me not slack. Because I look at you, and I'm like, oh, all right, I got to do five more reps. Because she is relentless in the gym. I have never seen anybody work that hard in a gym before. Well, that's why so my that's team's name So that's how we met. I just walked up to her and just said, thank you for being somebody who comes here to work really But I talked hard. back, right? And I was like yeah, a nice yeah. person. You were very nice. Because yes. when I go in the gym, it's, can I swear on the show? Uh, not gently. Not really? We do have okay. a sponsor, but gently. All right. Well, we it's like, like the resting, the resting gym face to put it nicely. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, it, yeah, you're yeah, in the right. zone. And yeah, I, oh. No, I can be a little, um, intim not intimidating, but my I do. I, I, I'm in my zone. You don't look approachable. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, work right. on that a lot to make right. sure that people do feel comfortable coming up to me. Because I am all business, but I love to help. I love to sit and talk to people. I love, to, if I have the time, half the time, I'm like, i got to get my kids to school or on right. the bus. Right. You know. Do we have more breadcrumbs? It looks like that's all. Yeah, we're going to need more breadcrumbs. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, she was very friendly and very, by the way, do you not love the slap chop? Um, <laughs> the slap no, she was very there. friendly and very, you know, but she was in her zone, so I actually did not want to bother her very much. But she, you know, that's how we met. And, you know, from there on, there's a lot of us at the gym. You know the people who work hard. And we all we all have that friendly morning, hey, how you doing? Um, hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? You know, there's not a lot of conversation. I will say that a lot of the gym people, the only conversation is maybe at the table. You know, before you're on the floor or after you're on the floor. On the floor, most people are just giving you that, hey, you doing nod. Mm. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you know, you're there to work out. You're not there to stop and, yeah. and smell the roses. So. Trust me, I wish I could some days. I just don't have the time. So now, <laughs> when you made a decision to go after the bodybuilding end of it, mm. how much did that change your mindset? Mm. And how much of that did it change your workout? Because that's a, I know I have a few friends who are triathletes. And one of them was my my swim coach in Key West, and she was an amazing athlete. Won every race she ever entered. Then she decided to become a fitness model, mm -hmm. a, a competition fitness model. I think she's WBFF as well. Oh, okay. She travels and all that stuff. Awesome. And she said that the hardest triathlon training she'd ever done paled next to getting ready for the competitions because of the muscle definition needed versus strength, the leaning out versus mm. kind of staying a little more a little more body fat for fuel. There's a very different night and day kind of workout. So mm. what was the mindset change where you were like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm already, you, I saw your before pictures, you were already thin. So you I actually really put thin. muscle on yeah. and then leaned back out. How does that change the whole gym process for you? Um, I think the, the hardest part is like the diet. But, you know, once you commit, it, people are like, I can never do that. I'm like, I, I can't, I, you know, or I can never do what you do. And I'm like, I don't necessarily understand what that means. Like, you, of course you could. It's just, you have to put your mind to it. And you have to really want it, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like once you make that commitment, it's made. And then when you get that close, it's like you're not going to throw it away. Right. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, the working, I could work out all day long. It's definitely the dieting that was the biggest part, upping my calories. Like, I don't think people realize, like, when you say diet, it doesn't necessarily mean, like, you restrict yourself. It just means right. you're eating healthier. And I actually had to eat a lot more than what I was eating. Right. That That's was the, the hardest part. We say it all the time, people who want to lose weight don't realize that to lose weight, you have to actually eat more. Yeah. 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 There's so many. So my husband and I, you know, obviously help people do competitions. We actually just coached a girl 
who won her pro card at her first show. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. So um, you, you're surprised. They're so surprised with how much more they actually have to eat. And that's why yeah. when people look at me like, oh, but you're already thin. You're already thin. You're, I'm like, yeah, no. That's you not, you yeah, still that's have to work hard. Right, right. And, and you to have put to on eat the, the right stuff. It takes a lot of calories yeah. to put on muscle. So, you know, I was always a small person, but I never felt healthy. I always felt frail. I felt weak. I was having a tough time lifting the boys up. Um, I have scoliosis. That's something, you know, it's never going to go away. Oh, did not know that. Yeah. Um, you know, after I had two C-sections, so my core, and I actually have the diastasis recti, which it, it's not necessarily an ab separation. It's actually the ligament that's that holds the abs together yep. is stretched out during pregnancy. A friend of mine had that. Yeah. She, she's had a few kids, and that happened to her, and she's a she's a rower. Mm -hmm. Like, they do, she does crew. And I asked how that affects, and she said it took her a while to get back because the pain and the core activation was brutal. See, thankfully I never had any pain, um, but there were exercises that I shouldn't be doing because it literally looked not to get graphic, like an alien was going to pop out of my stomach yeah. because your abs are not keeping right. in, your intestines are right. not keeping that in. So yeah. I had to shy away from a lot of stuff, and I really honestly thought that it was going to hold me back. I thought having a C-section scar and having the abs separation, I was like, I'm never going to get my pro card. Right. I decided to go for it, and so I hope if there's other women, I'm not necessarily saying you have to compete, but if there's other women that feel it, they're being held back. Right. Don't let it. Right. Don't let Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Because I feel like the women nowadays that have the kids, like, because you know what you want. Right. And you, you're going to go after it. Like, I never worked out like this when I was younger. Right. When I had all the time in the world. Never. <laughs> and now I have no time. And I'm in the yep. best shape I've ever been in. Yeah. That actually, um, it's funny that you're like sitting here. <laughs> I know. I got to wash my hands. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, How you doing? Brings up a good point. Yeah. Um, about, um, I'm trying to get these a little smaller. You don't want to get big, huge bites of why not? Um, so, um, Look, I'm you know, it's funny how everybody right in front of <laughs> the, mm, the healthiest bacon. person in the room's phone is, her phone just, is live on her page, and I'm, I'm holding bacon right in front of your phone for your oh, folks to see. Bacon. Oh, just hanging it out there. Well, Mike started that keto diet, so we've had a lot of fats in the house. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So what were you saying? I'm hybrid on that, and it's interesting to say that, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we can do, yeah, because, yeah, the eyes will be glazing over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, um, it's interesting oh, how mashing? everybody's, yeah, I mean, we can wait, you don't have to constantly okay. mash, right? Until like we get something. everything in yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me sit here. You take a mashing um, break. Go ahead. You chill out. So, I think everybody kind of has those thoughts of like, oh, can I do this? And oh, what, what, what am I going to look like in the gym? And, you know, and it's funny because everybody feels the same way about it. And everybody's like worried, oh, I'm going to be judged. <laughs> Every person in the gym is like, oh, you know, don't, don't judge me or... It's like, just get in there and do it because you know honestly, the, nobody is paying attention to And if to the people are judging you, then shame on you because as fellow gym owners, I'm not owner, well, yes, owners, we own our own studio, but, right. you know, as fellow gym goers, like, I feel like we kind of have a duty to encourage other people right. and Absolutely. not be jerks exactly. and, like, look down at people. And if you see somebody doing something or they look like they might need some help, like, go over and say hi, like, right. say yeah. hey, like... Right. But you know what kills me too? It's like a lot of women still these days are like nervous to head on over to the weights. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and that's why I like with our classes because we do incorporate weights, but it's in a small group setting. There's only like eight women or men. There's actually guys and girls now in mm -hmm. classes, which is great. Yeah. Eight people. So you, it's almost like my husband kind of coined it like personal training in a small group setting. Yeah. Because yeah. I can have my eyes on people, so can he. And right. there's only eight people, so it's not intimidating. We're not right. like screaming in your face. Right. I don't have a microphone on. You even though sometimes I wish I could. Uh, but we have like little dance parties in the middle and like have fun and like I see women and I see them like doing, whether it's a wall sit, we have a girl, Kim, if she's watching, did like a three minute wall sit and, and she, That's I could tell brutal. that she didn't like realize that she could do that. So it's so yeah. nice to like encourage and see women feeling more comfortable with the weights. So what we're doing now, is this is pretty much this is ready to go? All right, so what are we doing? So, rolling it. Uh, we're gonna sort of just kind of. I, I'm only rolling it to make it easy. Yep. And we fill this up and then just sort of mush it down so it's These inside. Look adorable. They are. Look cute, little muffins. So cute. Yeah. So just like a sort of handful. Want to fill them up? Yeah. Now that first one you did was a little bit bigger. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, Come on, coffee. John, get on top of your muffin making. All right. Uh, you Come know, uh, do you? I was just gonna say something off color, but I, you know, I, I don't. You told me I couldn't, so. Well, no, I wasn't. I wasn't oh. gonna curse. Just be oh. off color. Yeah. See, I'm doing good. I forget. I forget the potty mouth that you have because <laughs> I've seen some of her live Facebook <laughs> stuff, and she's like me. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Which I think is another reason we get along. There's not a lot of filtering or or BS involved. No, BS, um, no. 
You know, that's one, Keep of, it real. one thing, and, and I want to talk to you about this a little bit as, as, as a new personal trainer. Uh, my thing I think i got to learn is how to be a little more gentle, mm -hmm. how to be a little more, I don't want to say coddling, but coddling. Because you don't want to coddle. You, you don't want to get coddle, people but you don't want to make people feel, I'm a coach, I was a baseball coach, and I grew up with coaches that were tough. Mm -hmm. So I tend to coach in a... I don't want excuses, fashion. I think and not the, everybody can handle that. I think the best thing, and I know that Mike does it a lot with his clients, is like, who do you need me to be? Do right. you need, and I do it with a lot yeah. of my challenges yeah. too. That's a good way to look do at it. Do you need me to be Jillian Michaels? Do you need me to be the mama bear that's right. still a little nurturing, isn't so in your face? Right. And right. people usually will tell you like, no, I need you yeah. to pull a Jillian Michaels right. or, you know. Right. Your old Have you ever watched Jillian Michaels coach somebody? No. She's like, you're doing push-ups, and she's in your face next that to you on the floor. Yeah. Do and I have one. no problem doing that. But if you don't respond well to that, then we need to find a way that you respond. But you right. also want to make sure that they're getting a workout because otherwise they wouldn't be there. Right, right. Do you know? Like, they need to challenge themselves too, guys. I mean, like, working out is fun, but it's a challenge, and it's supposed to be. It should be a challenge. It should be a bit of a challenge. Add a little and, more meat to a cut to it. You know, it does get it does get hard, and like you know, Mike was helping me with my deadlifts the other day, and I was literally like a twelve year old little girl. Yeah, I was right. pouting in the corner <laughs> yeah. because my form was atrocious. I'm throw, I'm slamming, you know, the bar back down. The boys are in the studio with us, and they're coming yeah. over like, "Mama, what's, what's the oh, matter?" Yeah. I'm literally pouting oh. like them with my arms yeah. crossed, yeah. and you know, he had to remind me like, "You're not supposed to be good at everything, and you're right. supposed to challenge yourself." Right. So at the right. end of the day, when Maybe it wasn't your best workout. We have it when you're like leaving our studio. It's what does it say? Um, All right. There's no such so thing I as a bad workout. The overhead workout. camera is available, right? but these are ready to go in to Beautiful. the oven. Those look awesome. And they're going to go in right now, and they're definitely. Oh, right. You know, that's why I like the fact that you did the peppers a little chunkier. Yeah. Look at the color. Look at the color. Look at the color. It's a beautiful thing. I'm not gonna lie, the onions were getting to me. Did you see me were tearing they? up was a little it, bit? Were, they? were you wimping out? Yeah, I was kind of glad I had my glasses on. I'm surprised on. that I because you know, <laughs> usually onions get me bad. Like, it was fine, but once he started like doing what was this? What, what's your little I, gadget? The, the slap chop or the, my, the fish my, show slap chop? Yes, the flat. He's yes. got a gadget for everything. Mm -hmm. It's like go go kitchen gadget tab. All right, so those are in. So now what we can start on. Let's move this bacon over here. Do we'll, we need to do the we'll take that. We'll finish that later. Um, let's move the slap chop out so it doesn't bother her, because it still had some onions in it. Um, Jeff, you could probably just, um... Just eat handfuls of these Yeah, just eat handfuls, because they're healthy. No, just bowl them up. You go for the onions. Yeah, there we go. Um, now what we're going to do is, we're simply going to, let me get a cooking sheet. These are going to roast along with... These rinsed already? They are not. I have to rinse them. Or you can rinse them if you'd like. All right. Do you have a colander? Oh, I, I Look do. Look me getting all fancy. All right. Colanders and things. Um, so. I didn't do it. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't do it. Perfect. That's called we have Oh, and magically a colander appeared. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> it's the magic kitchen. Oh, my gosh. I need to cook here more often. I'm going to leave these out of here. <laughs> nope, just keep smashing them together. It sounds good. <laughs> Yay. So I think you and I have talked a lot, too, about, like, you know, how to fit everything in. And I, I definitely think a, t a good tip, too, <laughs> is to uh, do what works for you. To be yes. honest with you, a lot in my house, like a, t a lot of times in my house, I use the Minute Maid rice that I pop in the microwave for yep. a minute. Yep. I use microwavable vegetables. Yes, I said it. Let's work while we talk. I, I do we have to work while we talk. Or we're okay. Not gonna, oh, sorry. Not going to be cooked in time. Yeah, you got it. I told you. I, I got you. I'm the same so way. My that's why I just wanted to make that point because I know it can be overwhelming. So it's like do what works for you guys, okay? Like if you can't do everything fresh, do what you can because doing something is better than doing nothing. Absolutely. And I know for myself, I get so overwhelmed that... Sometimes I'm like, I can't do anything. No, just if you're doing the microwave stuff, go for it. Just get the health in however you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. I was one of one thing that I did uh, when I, I so I, I used to be really into health before I had kids. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> That's a fun way to say it. And, um, and I did the, the microwave rice packets, microwave vegetables, and a can of tuna. And it's a phenomenal, like, quick to go. Quick to go. It takes a couple of minutes. Um, it tastes great. And that and having meat on hand is yeah. probably one of the better tips that I can give, whether it's the ground turkey, the ground beef. Right. Just make that, 
have it on hand. Um, I'm not just not saying I make my boys eat everything I do. One of mine is a very picky eater. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will give them what I'm eating, whether it's it's you know beef and rice, and they eat it, and right. it's good to go. Yeah, so absolutely. I know we have the Pinterest and all that stuff, and it's so lovely and beautiful. And it never looks the same way as it does oh, on the internet. Oh, I do. Yeah. Mine yeah. does. Yeah. Definitely tell you, I, I'm a plater. I, I'm a, oh, good lord. My well, presentation, <laughs> I plate. Yeah, I like to plate things. Okay. No, well, no, half the, but I'm just saying, you get overwhelmed by that, thinking that every meal has to look this way, and then right. half the time you slave over it. Right. Like, come on, Christmas and, ter and Thanksgiving? Right, right. What did your kids eat? Because mine eat rolls. <laughs> <laughs> After That's all of rolls. that, yeah. Mama, can I have another roll? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Mine eat um, nothing, nothing, and just turkey. Oh, they had some, but it was yeah. mostly rolls. So, yeah. you know, I mean, the adults <laughs> ate everything else, but, you know, you make these meals thinking, like, oh, my kids will love it. Like, just. Yeah. No, nope. yeah, they don't, they don't care. No. And if it's anything like that, they'll just throw it on the floor anyway. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how okay. she survives, actually. She does, you know. Who's that? <laughs> actually, it's not my youngest. Charlotte hardly eats anything. Hazel will eat, but then when she's done, then she just throws everything on the floor. Yeah, well, that's where it goes, isn't know. it? Yeah, right? Yeah. And that's why we have a dog. Because yeah. when Harmony Grace throws stuff on the floor, job is like, sweet. Yeah. I, I love when she just looks right at you and just goes. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so I'm simply going to spray this with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Love this. It's pan. It's, it's uh, organic olive oil. It's nice. It is nice. And it comes we're going in handy. to. So we were going to do Brussels sprouts, but the Brussels sprouts are not looking that nice. But no, I do make do good Brussels sprouts. And you know what we've been doing. I know it's not super healthy, but depending on the type of diet you are on, whether it's, you know, the keto diet, whatnot, when you can have fat, is a little bacon in with the Brussels sprouts. Bomb.com. Uh, Look absolutely. it up. Absolutely. You'll, have, absolutely. you'll see a picture of Brussels sprouts. Yeah. yeah. Um, Garlic I powder. I Brussels sprouts lately. I feel like I never ate Brussels sprouts as a kid. No. I had like a. Bad reputation, yeah. and then I finally tried them. And I'm like, Whoa. Bad, bad yeah, reputation? Oh, yeah, like, Brussels. I think maybe the, just the way they look. They were the bad kids in the, in the bad kids. Brussels yeah. sprouts. You don't want to be hanging around. You don't want to hang around with hang Brussels sprouts. No, they're trouble. I never had them. It was not a thing my mom made. Oh, man. I don't think a lot of parents no. did. My yeah. mom was the spinach queen. Uh, okay. That's why I can't eat spinach as an adult because mm -hmm. I ate 3,000 pounds of it I'm in my I'm kind of youth. a texture person, too. I hate to admit it, but like oh, this. Yeah. And, and spinach was great as a kid, but as an adult, I'm like. Mm. Done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Those parents, they just ruin things for you, don't yeah. they? Yeah, get rid of them. Love you, Mom. <laughs> yeah, why, why do we have parents? <laughs> what are you doing over there, John? You're just covering those guys with garlic? Yeah, we're just, this is just sort of going to yeah. infuse oh, that as they roast. that is my roast. jam right yeah. there. As they roast, the garlic is going to roast along with them, and right. it's just going to kind of infuse into the beans a bit. Okay. And it's going to be very tasty. Okay. So we're simply going to put these right in. I can, with. I can get behind that. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I was thinking we should put some garlic in the, in the meatloaf, too. What was that? I would have done that. I just am all for more garlic all the time. I'm kind of like the garlic queen. We could have yeah. we could have yeah. done that. I didn't I didn't really think uh, I didn't think about it. More you garlic know. all the time, John. Always garlic. It actually doesn't garlic have all kinds of cool health benefits, too. It does. Garlic has Heart a healthy. ton of health benefits. Cool. So, delicious and healthy. So now with this, now we don't have to do much again. at all. Okay. We are simply going to um, put these in the pot, tiny bit of butter, and some brown sugar. Okay. And we're just going to, I wonder if I should do a little water with them. Just I, to I would. Keep them, yeah, yeah, just a little bit of water. Gonna, you know, boil it? Because then they might burn. Yeah, and I don't want it to burn. No, we don't. No, no it's not good. No, I, I wish, like, you guys could be in my kitchen when I'm, like, cooking. Yeah? Yeah, that'd be fun. So, once we add that, I will grab the butter. We, we can do, like, a, a fit show on the go. We yeah. can do that. Right? Our system can. Be fun. Yeah. No, yeah. And then I'd have to have the crazies home, though. So, But then would things be would be falling. And you know what the yeah. fun part yeah. is? Is uh, She said that when we do So, we're going to work out at uh, Studio One in, in the next week or so. And you'll see that on an upcoming show. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, you finish that up. Um, then what she'll, she actually said to me, I might bring the boys. So we would see the boys at the workout and find out what it's like to work out with three sub five-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that's like. It's, uh, and it's not, it's not easy. There? No, <laughs> it's not easy. Actually, Mike right now, hi Mike, has all of them. So. I just, God bless him. I just started doing a thing. Um, uh, I was doing some reading, as I, as I tend to do. Jeff is um, a big reader. Um, I wish I had time to I, I do, uh, yeah, I do a lot of articles. I'm, I'm like really big into that. Um, but I was reading about where you burn your calories during the day, and the big portion of where your calories go, the, the um, most of where your calories go, is just like your everyday activity, walking around, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and and so I am trying a thing where I'm 
you know, when I'm home with the girls and I'm trying to do daddy daycare and trying to get some work done, uh, I'm just, every chance I get, whenever I think of it, I'm stopping and I'm dropping down and doing 10 push-ups, 20 crunches, doing a couple squats, and maybe some like, you know, counter dips or something. And just keeping a tally of how many I do throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm not ever like necessarily pushing myself like to the point where I'm sweating or, you know, or getting out of breath, but I'm just like doing something other than standing around. Right. And, and um, and makes a difference right yeah, yeah. and so um, it feels good it doesn't take any time whatsoever right um, and it's uh, I don't know why I started talking about that why, where, 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 I gonna, a, don't ask I the did squirrel have a, I did have don't a point ask me. <laughs> but you guys should try that it's yeah, awesome do it's that it's really cool it's like it's super easy like I said it doesn't take even you know two minutes to do at a time but I think it's a great idea too especially if people aren't haven't been working out in a while because I know it can be daunting it's like yeah you get the inclination like oh, I need to do something and and I know for myself like if I don't have a plan it's like deer in headlights and how many right. times have you seen that in the gym right. yeah Darren headlights. I was just talking. So there's, there's uh, headlights. one of the one of the fitness instructors teaches like a cross cardio class. Mm -hmm. I ran into her today, and she's like, oh, "I'm so out of sorts right now. From I just haven't gotten my gears back." Yeah. And I said, I actually said to my wife this morning, I need to get my calendar going again because right now I'm walking into the gym every day like, oh, I think I'll. And right. then I'm and not it's sure not what even I'm doing. just that, like, and then people don't get results, and then you yeah. hit a plateau, and it's like, if you don't have a plan, and, like, you go in, and then I think a lot of people are just like, okay, I'll just get on, I'll just get on the treadmill, because you right. don't know what else to do, and I'm like, no right. wonder why, like, these resolutions fail. Yeah. Right. Like, right. I posted something, or a friend of mine posted it the other day, and um, it said, Re resolutions are overrated, develop a habit instead. Right. I was like, yeah. We yeah. say every week, do one thing. One thing you did... That you didn't do last week. Then right. next week, do one more. And what happens is little steps become habit. Absolutely. Habit becomes lifestyle. Because if lifestyle. you go in with the new fitness gear, the new kicks, the new everything, and you're like, oh, yeah. like, I'm going to, and it lasts like a week because right. you need a plan. a plan. So that's like another really cool thing. Like, we kind of came up with the name Studio One because I felt like it's kind of corny to say. Mike's like, don't say that. I say it's like the one stop <laughs> shop for gym. Because we offer classes, we offer one on one. Like even with the one on one, we offer groups. So like we have mothers and daughters that work out together. Right. We have husbands and wives that use the personal training session. Right. But he also like I don't think people realize that too. Like when I'm not doing my at home workouts, like with Beachbody and all of that, he created my workout programs for me. So that's another option that we give people. So if right. someone says, Hey, I'm going to this gym. I'm good. But I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oops, sorry. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. No, we can we can, we can, we can uh, Okay. We can I said that. Okay. We're not, we're, so we can create, yeah, we can create <laughs> programs. So that way you can track, and we actually have an app like where you'll see. You put the app on your phone, you track your your reps, your sets, and yeah. he sends a video. I'm so that way, PT Hub. Yeah. So ours is that. our app, and we send you on your way with a six or eight week program, and you're logging stuff, and you come back in, and he also works with you too to see like how your form is because obviously that's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. He just well, finished up like a full a full week um, power strength training lifting program to help people learn how to do like basically the four power movements, so he can make sure that you're gonna be safe when you're off doing it. Right. And then that way you come back in and you have a plan. And if you hit a plateau, then you know what's going on and you can right. kind of look. So right. I think that's at least for me. And you sound like you're the same way. Yeah. I need a plan. I have and to you, have a plan. And you so see that me I with stay... my clipboard. Yes. I actually <laughs> said to you one day, I'm like, do you? Do you, because I carry my book. I carry my little book. Yeah, I'm a geek. I like um, my every, if you should have a You should have a gym journal. Feels good. If you're going that. to the gym, if, and I've told you this, I don't know if you've bought yours yet, but you should have a gym journal. Because um, uh, I think it's, and speaking of Beachbody, Tony Horton mm -hmm. always says, if you don't know what you did, you don't know what you need to do. Right. Um, and it's absolutely true. If you walk into the gym today and you don't remember what you did three days ago, how do you know what you need to do today if you're not going to do the same thing? And that's how you can hurt yourself, too, is yeah. when you're overusing muscles yes. and people don't realize that, too. And we don't expect people to. I mean, it's a lot. So I don't say all this to overwhelm you. I mean, there's great things, like you said. There's ways to work out at home. Doing some stuff like yeah, squats right, in the middle. Right, right. That's a great way to start. We right. did like a 12-day Christmas challenge, which was so cool. Like it did 12 exercises by the end of it. So that way for these people that haven't worked out forever, maybe never worked out, it's yeah. something to start with. Right. And that's right. why it's, you know, with, with me, people assume like this was always me. I ran track in high school, quit my senior year, which still drives me nuts that I did it. <laughs> and that was it. Yeah. Right. So like this is all new to me as well. Right. There's... Uh, speaking of home workouts, um, there's a workout that I taped today that we're going to put up right after the show oh, today as nice. well on the Fit Show page. It's a simple, I call it a 4x4. Four four. It's four exercises, four rounds. It's going to be really simple. I explain each one in the video, and they're simple. They're push-ups, crunches, 
lunges, and jacks. Simple, but you do four rounds with no break. And you will find how tired you can get from very simple movements with no equipment right in your living room. But don't so, get discouraged. No, but that's the beauty of it is none of these are difficult, and you can scale them as you go. Mm. If you can only do five reps, you start there. But the goal each week get better, be to stronger. be better. So watch for that. We're going to post it on the page. After. I just remember we're going to run it during the show. I just remember we're going to run it during the show, but this is, we, we, yeah, we're having too much fun. About and I said I was a squirrel. It's I don't know. You might be taken. <laughs> oh, we remember. all have ADD. We, we all were have talking ADD. about working out at home it's with the three kids. So I've been doing that, you know, trying to drop mm. down and do the 10 push-ups. Or, and, and, you know, going through do they this. jump on your back? And as soon as I get down in the push-up position, every time, there's at least one. Oh yeah, because you least look one to three like legs. a ride. Oh now, now you're a, a gym. Now you're a, a mm -hmm. play place, you know. And uh, yep. and now, now I'm doing push-ups with a kid on my back, which, which is, is great. great. Yeah, which is great. <laughs> I actually have Harmony Grace doing push-ups before bed each night. Oh yeah. We will be in her room, and mommy will rock her and read a book to her, and I'll lay on the floor and just wait because mm -hmm. we have to decide who's rocking her to sleep at night. She decides at the last moment. Oh mm. good. Yes. Right. <laughs> but I'll be laying on the floor, and she'll go, Daddy, push-ups. And she jumps off mommy's lap, jumps on the floor, and we will rep out. And the kid yeah. is See, legit, think, after a month of doing it now, right. legit doing that's, 10 push-ups. That's <laughs> also the big thing because I know so often, like, you don't want to be the person that's telling the kids, like, you need to do this, you need to work out, you need to. Mm -hmm. Because right. as kids, you're going to be like, right. whatever. Right. If they see it. It's a whole different ball game. Yes. I'm not yeah. going to say working at home, out at home is always great because that happens. And it's frustrating. When I did that live video last time, you laughing it was because great, they though. were driving me nuts. But yeah. it happens. The great thing nowadays, too. But that's what made me watch the video. It endeared me to the fact of she's still working hard. And yes. there's the reality of but it. But it, it gets hard. It gets hard, guys, when they're toddlers. I remember I used to set them up in their jumpies, and it looked like they were like little cheerleaders on the yeah. sidelines. <laughs> One was crying. Someone else was screaming. As long as their diaper was clean and they weren't hungry, I took my 30 minutes. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. pretty, but they, they've become accustomed to it. Right. So they don't. it's not a surprise to them. And now sometimes they'll actually jump in with me. I don't have awesome. to force them. Uh, you know, some parents try to force them. Allie's watching. Hi, Allie. Hey, Allie. Some people try to, like, you know, take cute photos with their kids and be like, hey, right. work out. And the kids are like, I don't want to do this. Now they'll jump in. They'll jump into my workout videos. Luca, at school, I loved it. They brought home a challenge, like a, like a weekly challenge, and he was doing sit-ups and push-ups. And so I think, guys, it's not just for you. It's you setting the example for your kids and not being the parent right. that's like, you need to do this. You right. need to eat this. You need to exercise. Yep. We're, we've been did kids. You, did you see my post the other day? I, my, um, I made my daughter pancakes and, and by her request, pancakes and, and sausage for lunch. And they hit the table and she's like, I don't want that. I'm like, well, what do you want? She said cereal. So we, after this was lunch, we had Fruit Loops and peanut butter crackers for lunch. And I'm like, I posted, I'm like, am I a bad dad for giving my kid Fruit Loops and peanut butter crackers? And the consensus was, you got that kid to eat. Yeah. That's yeah. true. You know, and, and that's a challenge sometimes, just, you know, well, my wife will tell you that there's times where I get a little like, mm, because I've got a hundred things to do, but my focus is always the kids, mm -hmm. my, my daughter. And it's the, I've got to prioritize all this, but she always comes first. Mm -hmm. And for you, that's got to be, and especially you too, but you guys are threefold what right. I have to ever go through. You guys have it three times over. Mm -hmm. my, my philosophy with the kids eating is um, we try to, and I, you know, Courtney's a little bit softer on that than I am, so I, I can, I'm a little hard-headed, I guess, you know. And being hard-headed <laughs> against it, it, the two-year-old <laughs> is just a recipe for disaster. But my philosophy is if a kid's healthy, they're going to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, if, they, if yes. they're hungry, they're going to eat. If they're not eating, maybe they're not hungry. You know, they're only, they're only this big. Our they doctor told us once, no toddler ever star ever died nope. of starvation. Same with ours. Exactly. And the so, same thing, too, like with making them finish their plate. Like yeah. Mike is a break, big proponent of not doing no, that. No, yeah, I and don't I, do that at all. And yeah. I agree. Like I'll say you need to do two more bites, though, because yeah. I think they're also looking for control, and they need to know, right. like, no, right. this is mommy wants two more bites, but I don't make them eat their, like, the whole plate. But one of my picky eaters, Mike's a little bit more lenient, surprisingly. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, if I know I made something that he likes, yeah. and he's saying no, I just leave it there. And yeah. two minutes later, right. he's eating it. Yeah. So what happens? Mama, I like this. Yeah. Oh, what we get we that. Do oh, is, oh, I don't like that. Really? I mean, you ate it yesterday. No, I yeah. don't like it. Oh yeah. That. So, so I just yeah. leave it and walk away. Yep. Two minutes, he's exactly. eating it. We get a lot of the. I don't want to eat that. And then ten minutes later. Uh, well, can I have a granola bar? Can nope. I have this? No. So, well, I, my, you know, if Snacks. it's me, it's just me. Oh. I, you don't want to eat that? That's fine. It'll be here when you're hungry. That's Absolutely. It. That's it. And then it, it waits, and yep. eventually when you'll hungry, see the little fingers coming up on the counter. <laughs> yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. where'd that go? 
yourself. Oh, I ate it, Mama. I like that, Mama. I know, buddy. I would never put something in front of you that I knew you didn't like. But we talk about that and talk about getting strong and eating and... It's hard. It's a battle. Starting, but you're making good habits, you know, so right. that they don't have to do what I'm doing now. Hopefully, someday. Well, that's true, Jeff's too. actually down almost 20 pounds since we started. I, I was. Now, well, now, let's see. What well, am you're I? back to almost. Yeah, 16, 185 to 116 now, right? Yeah. 16 now. I know, brother. So, the goal is to get him down. He was 285 when we started the show. We made him in that week. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to get him down about 220. And we have no time for him. can totally do it. No time for yeah. him. You know, we don't want to I mean, diet him. is... 80% of it. Right. Yep. So if you can right. start getting a little bit more exercise in there besides, yeah. you know, what right. you're doing, which is great. Yep, exactly. Yep. Trying to stay active, just mm -hmm. moving around a little bit more, doing the, even all the little things that, you know, it sounds sounds cliche, but like, you know, taking the stairs or parking. Not in the no, first it's spot, not. Spot. It, 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 it adds up. Exactly. Yeah. There, it doesn't seem like a lot. And, um, but like I said, I, when I was reading that article talking about relatively how many, how many calories and I'm not going to quote it because I don't remember. What is that? The BMR, the basal metabolic rate, what you burn when you're not. Yeah, like it's, it's something. It's like the neat and the eat and the this. Yes, and yes, yeah. the neat. Yeah, the uh, so it's um, it's you know, overall those cumulative throughout your day, how many calories you're burning by just walking or just existing, being awake, yeah. is far far ex exceeds what you're going to burn in a workout. You know, mm -hmm. um, and obviously you need to have your workout, but you're never going to outrun your diet by. <laughs> By working out. You can't say, oh, well, I worked out, so now I can eat 12 cheeseburgers uh, every day. You know, don't don't I no, wish. Meta metabolically, <laughs> metabolically, a human body needs 10 to 15 calories per pound, depending on your metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. So if you're an active person, you might need a little more. If you're a sedentary person, around 10 calories per pound just to wake up. Right. Not If you laid in bed from the moment you woke up to the moment you fell asleep again, 10 calories or so per pound is what it takes for your body to function. The minute you get out of bed, you have to add to that. So if you go to the gym and burn 800, so let's say you're two, what now? I'm 269 right so now. So 269. So we're going to say 2,700 calories just right. to get you out of bed. Right. Then you go do an 800 calorie workout. That's, right. And now you're at 3,500. Right. Then you did other push-ups during the day. And then you went and did a gig. Right. Where you're exerting energy, loading oh, yeah. the gear, doing the gig. Yeah. You technically have to eat somewhere between four and 4,500 calories a day right. to keep up. Right. So, um, and that goes to... And people like, somebody who's that just blows learning, people's minds. Mm -hmm. I can't eat that much, I'll get fat. Yeah. Actually, you won't. So that, that one of the things that I used to have a, th a thought about, I, I love to share this stuff because I know that if I thought it, then it's somebody else's thought. Oh, absolutely. Thought it too. Yep. And, you know, before I started learning about all this stuff, which even, you know, I've been healthy before, but I didn't really, really learn. Um, I would look at a thing and go, oh my God, like, you know, how many calories are in one M&M? Like, how does anybody, how does anybody eat this many calories and stick to this strict diet? And I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that because it seems, seems ridiculous. But when you start thinking, okay, in terms of I need this many calories just to be alive, you know. But it, it also gets into the type sense. of calories too. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, well, yeah. So, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying go out and eat No, no, I don't. Yeah. All, all I'm saying is. You know, I used to I used to look at it like, um, okay, you know, you're looking at the, the nutritional information on the side of anything, whatever you're eating, and I'm going, this is kind of German to me. It's just, it mm. seems like it's daunting, and this is... And it's supposed to be, because and, they make it very tricky. It's a lot easier. It's better nowadays, but labels right, and... Right, because I always thought, okay, this is based on a 2,000 calorie diet, and I'm like, so what you're telling me is this, like, you know, this one little thing is a quarter of what I can eat for the day? This is crazy. Not realizing that, okay, that's not factoring in, like you said, your, your body weight, mm -hmm. your activity. So it, it really is not as daunting as it as seems to somebody. If you have no idea what you're doing, like I didn't, you know, and I still really don't, I'm learning. Um, we all seems, are learning. It you're seems, always going to be learning. Always learning. It mm -hmm. seems crazy. It's really not that bad. you gotta you got to eat. you got to give yourself your fuel so that you can work out and, and, uh, and get ahead of it. And then and when you know. find the B word, and I'm not going to swear, balance. Oh. Magical. Oh, look at you! <laughs> balance is a wonderful thing. Um, balance so awesome. takes education. Balance takes understanding a macro. Balance takes understanding a good your versus body. a bad carb. Balance takes understanding your nutritional needs versus, well, I saw so and so doing it. Well, so and so right. isn't you. Right. And your body, if your body shape, your body type, your body height, your body build might be different than somebody else. 
then you need a different nutritional profile than that other person. But and that's why it takes, it and all. it takes time figuring it out. So yep. like if you tried something and it didn't work, you're not a failure. No. It's maybe what you nope. did failed you because it wasn't the yep. right suit for you. But, um, so in the past, you, you were asking about, I mean, I, we, we put our max effort stuff up just to, to rep our boys each week, Clay Guida and the guys are good friends of mine. And so we love them and we put it up there every week. But it's there because I believe in that product. Not endorsed, not sponsored. I believe in that stuff and I believe in it because in the past, I've tried everything. Mm -hmm. And in the past, I've gotten hurt every time. So something wasn't supporting Connective tissue. Mostly for me, it's always been connective tissue. Mm -hmm. I've torn a bicep. I've torn both biceps. I've torn a calf. Um, my knee issues. A lot of it was connective tissue stuff. So a lot of the support mechanisms for connective tissues were always where I was lacking. I have found through trial and error what has been working for me wonderfully. And that's what it takes. This might not work for you. Right. This, you well, know, like you with use, me with the Shakeology. Yes. Beach body so that, that brings my point. I needed to do something. That was right. my something. I right. needed something that I didn't have to think about, yep. that I knew I was getting the appropriate, you know, macronutrients. I got my, my, you know, all of the vitamins and the minerals, and I was getting my protein because there was days it was 1130. I had not only not brushed my teeth, I realized I hadn't eaten. Yeah. Right. And I was like, this is not good. And right. It's I, in our header. There is no secret formula. There is none. There so is you just a, have to. There you go. Yeah. But you, you know, have to make it a habit. Like you have nice to. If there was, though? Oh, <laughs> there I know that magic pill. I mean, there's yeah. so many of them out there. You haven't found the right one. But then at the end of the day, and I have a shirt my sister's got me. It's a it's a workout shirt, and it says self made. And yeah. I just love it. And I put it on, and I feel immense pride because I look at my body, and I'm proud of it. It doesn't define right. me, right. but I'm proud of it. Right. And I made it. I did this. Right. I, you know, I needed help with you know nutrition and the program and, and all right. that, but. Right. At the end of the day, it was me, and no one can ever take that away from me. Right. Absolutely. And when I got up on that stage as a competitor, whether I won or lost, mm -hmm. no one could take that from me. Right. Because I right. just did that. I got my body to that point. And I know to some people it may look vain if they don't understand it. Some people it does. It's I mean, you see vain. the girls up there strutting in bikinis. Yeah. To the outsiders, it, it could. But when you get into it and you see somebody that's in it, it's, it's so much more mental than physical at right. some point. Then uh, empowering for sure. Well, yeah. I think it looks vain because we're taught these days that to be self-evident is, um, oh. Ha! Whoa, that's camera. Yes. Oh. Look at those over there. Um, to be self-aware. No, that one's mine. All right, look yeah. like a lipstick. No, no, I'm not wearing lipstick. Not today. Not today. Not it, today. it has happened. I've seen you in a nice red once in a while. Well, you're going to see me in a tutu and heels. So. Look, amazing. Purple eyeshadow. Um, yes. You were wearing a wig the other day at our show. Was, I was. I had, a, I had a red wig on was, the other day. I looked at it here. It was great. Um, Isn't that a good luck? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're taught these days especially to be... Uh, you, you're not allowed to be self-aware. You're not allowed to be proud. You're not allowed to be too, um, too anything where you celebrate your own successes. It, and, and to me, celebrating your successes is what makes you work harder. Because I just did that. Well, damn it, now I'm going to do this. Right. Whereas when you're downtrodden, you are... <laughs> Job is just walking into cameras around here. <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you don't let yourself celebrate your successes... It makes you not want to try to do anything else because, well, that was no big deal. Why should I bother? I think it also has a different dynamic, too, with males and females. I think with females, and even myself, sometimes I was uh, afraid of coming off as boastful or as coming right. off as, like, oh, look at look at me. Whereas guys are like, hey, like, I just got this job. Yep. And yeah. it's, it's right. a whole different right. dynamic. But and I've I think, seen you in your group talk about that. Yeah. yeah. but I She think, has 12,000 followers in her group, by the way. But I think women empowering themselves and loving themselves that's the biggest that's the yes. best thing that fitness has helped me it has helped me physically but also mentally i mean i talk about my past um you know i've had a, a painful past and like through fitness and when i'm in that gym i'm in that zone and no one can touch me my pain can't touch me and you know it, it puts you in a different zone and you're doing something for yourself and i think that's very empowering so like with women, it's more about being comfortable in you. And I, I hope that's the message I project. Like, I don't want anyone to want to look like me because I remember when I used to want to try to look like other people and I wondered why clothes never fit the right way or my hair right. never looked the same as the other girl because it right. wasn't me. Right. And, like, I want women to just be like, hey, this is me. I'm not happy with where I'm at right now. 
I'm going to make right. a change. Right. But I also realize I'm not going to be like you or you. I'm going to be happy with me. Right. And then the changes that you see are pretty amazing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like a lot of guys probably feel that same way. But that's a... You know, I don't mean to you don't say that you don't come you don't know how to say it. Yeah, no. But no, it, guys are not allowed to say it because right. you have to be macho. Right. You can't say that you're insecure as a guy. Well, right. I guess right. you guys have even your a guy, own, yeah. So even a guy so, like me, look, I, I'm the Napoleon complex guy. I was always the littlest guy on the team. I was <laughs> always the guy who had to try twice as hard to be twice as fast. Yeah. I was always the guy who got, you know, picked last and had to make them regret the fact that they picked me last. Absolutely. And. So I grew up with that, I'm going to be better than everybody complex mm -hmm. just to prove a point, which is a bad way to look at things. Mm. Right. And as I got older, I realized that's what I was doing. And, you know, there's still some of that. But, you know, being on stage every week, right. there's, there's a thing we do on stage. We, you know, we, we talked about this the other day, Jeff and I, about why we do this show. And, and, and people are like, yeah, why do you guys do that? And we do it to help people. We know that. But it's part of our genetics because we get on stage and people go, oh, you just play music. No, what we do is people come to our show to have fun and laugh and get away from life for a little while. Right. And too often in this day, you're not allowed to be the person that don't, nobody wants to be the guy who steps outside the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So it, it's as much for guys as it is girls that, that you have to be, you know, oh, you have to be very level. You can't be uh, so, I can see what you're so, saying. Yeah. I just feel when it comes to celebrating like success oh, yeah. i think women sometimes come off like they're they're oh, nervous and i'm definitely. like you know what Absolutely. i am proud to see my news feed Absolutely. and see all of these women Which flexing yeah. and loving life and just laughing or you know people like oh i can't go through my news feed anymore with all this right. beach body coaches or all of these moms that no, are absolutely. posting selfies sweaty selfies more power to you. Absolutely. So what would you absolutely. rather us be doing? Miserable? Like yeah, back right, in, right. you know, and there's so many women nowadays that are done raising their kids and then they feel the immense guilt of not taking care of themselves. Right. You're going to feel, right. m mothers, am I right? You're going to feel guilt <laughs> no matter what. Am I right? You're going to feel Mom. guilt no matter, no matter what. There's times I go to the gym, I feel guilt, okay? Right. I feel it. It's just being part of a mother. So right. whether you want to feel the guilt now or feel the guilt later, when some of the damage is done. I'm not saying you can't, you know, progress from there because I feel like everyone can always change no matter what age you are you can make changes absolutely so you know feel guilty now or feel guilty later right it's the way I look at it yeah there you go yep I love it and we're running a little bit long today but that's we don't because care. I'm on your show oh that's yeah, quite right that's, that's actually I think right. I warned the, you here's the beauty of our show is we're not gonna get, we, yeah. we say it's an hour but there we've gone over a couple of times just because when it's worth talking about we yeah. we don't necessarily need to this isn't network tv we yep. can kind of do what we want with with the show. It's and more of a guideline right? than a rule. Right? Yeah, it's sort yeah. of a guideline. But we also did go on. We sort of went live ten minutes late, even though the even though mm -hmm. the we're coming shortly was up. Uh, that we that didn't hit the air till ten minutes. If you guys would like a little more garlic, you're more than welcome to scoop oh, that off. Um, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 don't know, I, I lost it again. I was going to say something I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was Jeff is all squirrely yeah, today. Was, I am. I'm all over the place. Usually I'm like the chatty one. It's the <laughs> it is. It's true. <laughs> it's You know what it is? It's this Nantucket Vineyard wine is just so good. <laughs> that I had to drink. <laughs> is that the reason that's this That's what's week? going on, yeah. I think. That's what's going on. I had to drink it so fast. <laughs> is that what it is this week? <laughs> uh, so I'm going to grab a second just so I can... Let's get the overhead camera up. I want to show you before I even pull this out. Yeah. Oh, with my favorite little oven mitts. Don't this? I feel like. Okay. I don't know if we can we can see that. How Why don't we have googly eyes on those things yet? Um, I just haven't gotten around yeah, to it. Sure. Oh, yeah. There you go. They look like they have little teeth. Right. Little sharks. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, they're adorable. <laughs> yeah, aren't they? Adorable. My kids would be walking around the house with <laughs> them like. Dun, 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 dun. I do it every time I'm dun, dun, here. Dun, even even when we're not on the show. Dun, dun, I just dun, grab them and walk around. Yeah. When we're in New Orleans, we, uh, or New Orleans, whatever people want to say. Yeah, I see it. Let's see. There it is. Look we got the little alligator puppets. I think puppets. the camera's up now. Got so it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to. Beautiful. Look yeah. at that. Like little lobsters. You know By the time she got the camera up, I was, uh, I was not, uh, I was not ready. So we'll leave it up there Beautiful. for a second. I know the, the, we see, well, we watch the show as we're, you know, we keep it up here so I can follow the comments. We gotta, but we're a little, a little behind as far as what we actually get to see on the show. Yeah. We, we lag yeah, out Yeah, I'm shaking there. Oh, there it is. Did I, I did my arms today. Oh. How many pounds of turkey is that? The shaking a little bit. <laughs> it's only two pounds, but then you had the bacon. Oh. Pounds um, of bacon. Yeah, I did arms today, so my arms are a little tired right now. These look I did, really I did arms. I did, I did biceps, tries, shoulders. Um, I did a, a bench 
uh, pyramid set. Mm -hmm. I did a buy and shoulder superset, and then I did a dip and pull up superset. That was my day, and then abs. Now, and I did that all in 50 minutes because you just move. You Good. just move through your workout. Yeah. You don't sit there on the phone. Yeah, I did uh, the diaper change workout kind today. Oh, that's a great yeah. workout. I love that workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. is a good one. You see how fast you can change the diaper, see if you can keep up with all the poop. You know, it's even better when there's two. If you can and there's two that you gotta you gotta, gotta change poo. a diaper. Oh, I, still have, I got two in diapers still. Oh, well, it's like yeah. an assembly line. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. first yep. one. Okay, second one. Oh, first oh, one again. Third one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was daddy daycare mode today, so daddy I didn't daycare. get to work out today. But we are getting on. Um, Tag and I are going to be doing. What are we uh, doing? We're going to be uh, working out. As him, as of now that you're officially a personal trainer, we're going yes. to be getting on that. So we will probably Jeff's going to be one of my first clients. Nice. Footage of, of that, um, of us working out. You'll get to see me sweating some more, and uh, and it's going to be it's going to be good. Be so let's go back to the overhead camera. This is what your final plate looks like today. Phenomenal. I don't High know protein. Where to look. That's the that's the I know, overhead camera. That, but I'm like looking but, over here. Yeah. To yeah see. Well, you know what'll happen is oh, let's show. Let's show still 15 seconds. Can we show your people? So Let's show your people. Yeah, oh, show yeah. This is our photos. final. Look at that. Look at that. This is our final plate for the day, folks. Beautiful. Looks good. So this is two little it's, it's, mini muffin-shaped <laughs> turkey. This is, this is, this is, yeah, I know. It's, it's a tremor plate. <laughs> I'm not picking anything else up today. <laughs> and you guys pick things up. You're really strong. <laughs> She's probably stronger than you and me. No. Nah. Put together. I have seen you work out. You're, mm. You've definitely got stronger legs than me. That's for sure. Because your your uh, your your dumbbell step up onto the bench work is impeccable. Mm, it took a little bit. <laughs> it's um, it's great because um, she she would not last at Planet Fitness. I make fun of Planet oh, Fitness no. every week. I would because be because you'll hear and go. I would. Oh no! I would get the axe. Oh, no, the axe. Yeah, They'd be like, you, have you have to go. <laughs> yeah. You have to because. Yeah. But I mean, in the gym, like what? Right, like it's right. supposed, to be, supposed to be. I understand some people get a little excessive, and it's like, all right, buddy, you have to poop or are you, are you okay like do you need me to come resuscitate you like i'm off duty but i mean i'll put my nurse hat on but you gotta like yeah. once in a while you gotta make some noise when yeah. you're otherwise you're not trying no. but they took squat they took the squat decks and the deadlift decks out of planet fitness i will say though if well, you're if you are a planet fitness. fitness person at least you're doing something i applaud absolutely. that you, I applaud oh, absolutely. That you work out no i do i applaud yeah. that you work out right. I just, I love that they're slow. And you know what, and some people, like, damn right, you're not. <laughs> some people don't want to hear that I get it, but I feel right. like, you know, it's, in during my class, during the core, the, right. the women will start. If I don't hear yeah. any sounds, I'm like, is this not hard enough? Why yeah. am I not we hearing any? Because we, and they're like, oh, yeah. oh no. I think, yeah. I think, uh, I think I uh, will definitely not get a Planet Fitness endorsement uh, for the show. I don't think probably we'll not, be getting no, a, they're probably not so. into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to eat, so it's time to say goodbye to you guys. Thank you. Do we so do much. a cheers? Yes, oh, you thank do. you for having me. Although, um, I still have a little bit, so it's you not, do bad have luck. A little bit. not bad luck. Bad luck to tell uh, tell everybody where they can find you online. Oh my God, you can find me everywhere. But um, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook. I'm under Ariel Ultimus. I kept my maiden name. Something I regret right now. Ruggiero. Um, I have a like page. It's uh, Ariel Ruggiero Relentless Mama, and we have the Studio One page as well. Um, Are you on Instagram? I am on Instagram under Relentless Mama. Okay. Um, yeah, you can. Is the studio on Instagram as well? Mike has his studio. Um, so it's Ruggiero Fitness Concepts is where we're kind of at for the studio for right now. Great. And yeah, so you can see some of his workouts, which are pretty intense. Yes. Yeah. I've yeah. seen him at the Y, and, and I, it's scary. Yeah. yeah. So and, but if you see him, he's about your size, but shredded. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's been a, big a boy. personal trainer now for 15 years, played yeah. college uh, hockey, so right. it's kind yeah, of been his life. Right. Yeah, it's, it's definitely He a, knows a, what he's doing. Well, he's I'm like you. He's a joy to be around in the gym because it's somebody who you're like, oh, well, I got to push hard. Yeah. But he's also someone that if you had a question, he loves to teach. He yep. loves awesome. to educate. Awesome. So, yeah. I'm excited to get into, into your gym. I'm and excited to have you in class. Yeah. I'm excited. So, thank you so much, guys guys for watching today uh, we want to thank Ariel for coming on the show yes thank you so much um, Jeff good job dropping your weight getting back to your getting starting point the starting after the board, holidays yeah which was it was I'm I was actually surprised happily surprised when I stepped on the scale and was back down to almost because good for you man so you know it, it can be done it can be done if I can, if I can do it you can do it I'm yeah. lazy <laughs> <laughs> well we're going to change that yep uh, I'm John Tagliari. That's Jeff Rosen. Wow, I just punched my microphone. I'm sure that sounded great on the air. <laughs> I'm John Tagliari. That's Jeff Rosen. This is Miss Ariel. 
Say your last name, Ruggiero. Ruggiero. Well, you make it sound a lot fancier. Ruggiero. Ariel. Well, that's the Italian Ruggiero. in me. It is. In Italian, and I'm that would Italian be now. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to eat this awesome meal. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, I'm going to post a workout on the page tonight. So make sure you come look for it. And we'll see you guys next week. Stay safe.